Eugene Ionesco, a famous playwright, once wisely said, it's not the answer that enlightens but the question. A question that currently looms large is, how do we get the next 10 years right? This is not a question of idle curiosity, but a clarion call, a recognition of our role in shaping what is yet to come. In the era where technology and interconnectedness are the norms, there is a temptation to take progress as a given, a foregone conclusion. But let's pause for a moment and challenge this assumption. Is progress really inevitable? Or is it the fruit of our collective efforts, the result of our choices and actions today? We possess the tools, the knowledge, and the capacity to harness the power of artificial intelligence responsibly. But there's a missing piece in this puzzle. The political will to enact change, the leadership that takes action, that shapes destiny. We have the tools and knowledge to leverage artificial intelligence responsibly. But what's missing is the political will to enact change. In my decades in public service, I've encountered leaders from various backgrounds. But the most profound leadership was witnessed in the most vulnerable and marginalized communities like refugee camps. Here, in the face of adversity, the true essence of leadership is exposed. Individuals who have nothing often share everything, consistently placing the needs of others above their own. From these communities, we learn the power of sharing, the virtue of prioritizing others, and the true meaning of leadership. This reshapes our understanding of leadership. It's not about being right all the time or standing at the front. It's about embracing doubt, testing our convictions, and constantly learning from others. It's about following as much as leading and fostering a culture of collaboration. Leadership is not just a title or a position. It's a mindset. It's a commitment to serving others. Our power lies in combining intellect and compassion. This, my friends, is the essence of true leadership. To address complex challenges, we must become comfortable with the idea of being wrong. Certainty can hinder progress and divide us into opposing camps. This idea is crucial in the new leadership paradigm. Leaders must foster an environment where dialogue thrives, where differing opinions are not just tolerated, but encouraged. Take migration, for instance. Often it's viewed as a problem, a burden. But what if we shift our perspective? What if we see it as an opportunity for mutual benefit? Matching vacant jobs with willing labor can lead to a symbiotic relationship that benefits all. But leadership is not just about those at the top, it's also about followership, the active participation of individuals in movements for change. Each one of us has a role to play. Our individual actions, however small, can collectively lead to significant change. After all, the future isn't just shaped by those in power, it's shaped by us all. Small actions collectively lead to significant change. Leadership must be driven by empathy. Doing the right thing means thinking with our hearts. A poignant example of this is the Syrian refugee crisis. Faced with an influx of people displaced by conflict, the choice was made to respond with compassion rather than indifference. This wasn't a decision driven by politics or economics, but by a deep-seated empathy for fellow human beings in distress. It's an ethos that we must continue to uphold as we face similar challenges globally. From the displaced communities battling climate change to the marginalized voices seeking social justice, empathy should be our compass guiding our actions. It's not just about understanding the feelings of others, it's about allowing those feelings to influence our decisions, our policies, and our leadership. It's about thinking with our hearts as much as with our minds. It's about putting people first. In conclusion, the future relies on our ability to doubt, follow, and empathize. By embracing these principles, we can ensure the next decade is an era of unparalleled progress. Our actions as humans make the most significant difference. Let's ponder on our individual roles, reflect on the leadership lessons shared, and consider how we can shape a brighter future. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos about AI.